How's it going, YouTube? My name is Greg Brown. I'm the owner, guide, and captain of Drag Taker Fishing Charters here in Hawaii, on the island of Oahu. Basically, what we're going to be highlighting on this channel are catch and cook, how to's, DIYs, all sorts of fishing videos. They go by a plethora of names. You know, people call them some beakies, people call them mackerel flies, but here we call them damashis, and they're all the same thing. Basically, what it is is a long piece of line with multiple hooks on it. And you could buy them. Um, they range anywhere between three and fourteen bucks, but I just like to make my own because a it's faster and it's cheaper, and I know they'll work. For this particular damashi, I'm gonna tackle my bait fish. All the pelu, my akule, and my halalu. I catch them all on the same rig. So what we're gonna be using today is I gutted some 550 cord just for contrast, so you guys could see it. So normally, what I'll use is some 10 pound test from Missouri. It's a it's a hybrid line. Pair that with a gold limerick hook from size four to size size eight with some soft plastics provided by completely hook lures. What we're gonna be using is the butterfly knot. It's really simple. So we're gonna take your main line, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, a surgeon's loop on the bottom of it, just like that. Pull it tight, boom. This is where your sinker's gonna go. Six inches above that, that's where we're gonna put our first branch. And, you know, you can use your branches, you know, whatever line you want. I like to stick with 10 pound test. Um, the key to this knot though, is that you're gonna keep the longer port pointed towards your swivel, away from your sinker. What we're going to do is we're going to make a loop like that. We're going to run the line, th both lines through like that. And then we're going to do it again. Like that. And then we're going to pull this part tight. And you're going to see a knot like that. Now, I like to keep my branches short, so I'm going to take it, cut it to about like right here. Cut the tag end off. Boom. Now, that's, this is what you'll tie your hook to. Run the hook through like that. Then from there, we're gonna snell it, wrap it around, make it so it's like that. And then take this free end. One, two, three. Take it, go through here. And pull it tight. That's what you're gonna have right there. Okay, and then you pretty much complete that process until you have as many hooks as you want. I put about five to seven on there. Then once you're done, you grab you a piece of pool noodle and then put the hook in and just wrap it. 